Hello there YouTube. So as mentioned in my introduction video, I have built a practice body out of a two-piece plank. So this is the video documenting the entire process. Doing this build, I've got to admit, has got to be my proudest moment of my journey so far. I mean, using hand tools and power tools I've never used before, making a lot of mistakes, which I'll detail soon, <laughs> how to avoid them, and actually making a router sled out of random material that I had left over from fixing my shed up was really fun. So I'm going to switch over to the slideshow now and voice over detailing what I've done in this build. I started this at the beginning of this year with a two-piece tulip wood blank that has some amazing figuring. Originally I was going to add a veneer, so this was going to be the back and this side was going to be the front. There was a noticeable hump in the middle, so I planed it down with a number 64 plane. This is where things went slightly wrong. As you can see, I'd taken a fair amount of material off, which was just big enough to fit the template. I glued it together and left it clamped up until it cured. When the clamps were removed, this is where the reduced size was apparent. With the mistakes using the plane, I decided against adding the veneer as it was two piece, so I needed more practice. I didn't get any photos of the rough cut in the body out, so my next is my first round of routing. Now, there's some nasty chunks and chips taken out of the body and the template. This was my first time ever using a trim router, so I expected this not to be a perfect. And you can see how bad that bit is there. Eventually I found my rhythm and got it all routed out, but it still felt like a thick block of wood. So I made this out of some leftover OSB from repairing my workshop ceiling. I made a router sled. This is due to it still being thick, but also so I could practice surface routing for my GGBO build. I started slowly taking material off Overall, I went down to 8mm. Took me a few attempts and um, my battery kept dying, but once I got it all done, sanded it down and gave it a round over. This is where it really started to feel like a guitar. The front of the body was still slightly uneven, so I decided to give this a quick surface route too. After this, sanded it all down, then added a round over, and now it looks like a guitar, not a thick block of wood. I am really happy with how this turned out, and I'm glad I decided to use the figuring on the opposite side. After this, I moved on to routing the control and pickup cavities. These aren't perfect or to full depth, but I wanted to practice them. Then I moved on to staining the guitar. I was using the Crimson Stunning and Vibrant Stains. First, it stained all black. Sanded it back with 240. Then I added the Oxblood Vibrant Stain, which, as you can see in these photos, looks incredible. My plan is to finish routing all the cavities for this guitar by using the template that I got for my GGBO build. Now, the template I used for this didn't come with a neck pocket route. Hence why this is taped up, so I know exactly where I need to start and I can use the Great Guitar Build Off one to be able to do this. Now, the pickup cavities, they aren't perfectly or done to full depth. I mean, they're definitely not perfect. They're rough as all. The joys of using a template for the first time ever. However, the control cavity is pretty much to full depth. I may need to go a little bit further down, but see what happens. The finish itself, as you can probably tell, has no clear coat, no stain. But that's because I'm waiting for a little bit longer till I've got the neck pocket done to practice with the Crimson Finishing Oil. Now, as you'll have more than likely seen through flipping this guitar around just, it is rough. There are a lot of machine marks. Now, as this was a practice build, I wasn't going to spend hours and hours and hours, days and days and days, getting this thing sanded. 
Also, I wanted to see what happens when you don't sand it properly. Now, a lot of tutorials out there, they'll explain the importance of sanding, and I understand that, but they never show you really what goes wrong. So I figured, let's have a laugh, see what happens when I go wrong. The one thing that I don't mind looks bad-ish, because it still looks really cool to me, is this bit just here. I'm trying to get the best angle of it, there it is. So this bit here is where I practiced using my Shinto saw rasp. And I'll get a zoom in there so you can see all the tool marks and everything else. But the best bit about it is going from this nice round over into this carve, back out into the round over. It just looks incredible. I'm really happy with how that come out. Again, this is exactly why I did a practice build before doing my great guitar build off guitar. Anyway, I'm gonna stop spinning this thing around now because I've got a few more bits I need to say. So I will be posting updates of this onto my social medias. So they are linked down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. That is all for me in this one. So I'll see you in the next.